Number 61. A scientist is studying a 2.234 gram sample of thorium-229, which has a half-life of 7,340 years in a laboratory. Letter A, what is the activity in BQ? Okay, so we're looking for a isotope, a radioactive isotope's activity in BQ, which is Becquerel. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced, but I like to call it Beck. Professor Quirrell. <laughs> Big Harry Potter fan here, but hey, let's keep going, right? Anyway, we have to find out its activity. There's only one formula in all of nuclear chemistry that has to deal with activity, and that is this one right here. So let's just put this up here. And let's start with letter A. Now, we want to find its activity which basically means that we're taking 0.693, which is the ln of two. Remember, radioactive isotopes abide by first order kinetics. So this is kind of like a mesh between the half-life formula and just timesing it by m, which is the mass. So you have a mass, and in this case, it doesn't really matter what unit you're in because it really depends on what you're trying to go to. But in this case, they gave us grams, so I'm just going to times it by the grams. And in this case, the half-life, T half, is going to be in years. So first, let's find out what's our activity. So activity equals 0 0.693 times by the 2.234 gram sample. And then we're going to divide that by our half-life, which is what they tell us, 7,340 years. All right, so let's just plug that all in. Let's get a number, 0 0.693, 0 0.693 times 2.234, 2.324, and then we're going to divide it by 7340. Okay, so low number on the activity point here, Main, you know, mainly because it's disintegrating 50% every 7,340 years. That's not really a lot of activity going on. So 2.109 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now in this case, keep in mind that the mass was in grams and the year, well, the half-life was in years. So this unit right now is in grams per year. But the idea here is that we want this activity in BQ, right? If, we, if they just said, what's the activity, this would be an acceptable answer because activity usually doesn't have a pre-designated unit. They would have to specifically tell you what unit you're looking for. And in this case, they told us we want BQ. Now, BQ, Beck Quirrell, is in decays per second. So it seems like I can't have the year anymore, right? That has to get converted into seconds. And I can't have gr grams anymore because the grams has to get converted into this word decay, right? Now, decay, I put decay, but basically that is talking about disintegrations, right? Or breaking down or, you know, decomposing. And... For a Beck quarrel, it states that for every one disintegration, that happens in one second. And just know that for every disintegration or decay, just know that you're only dealing with one atom. So in this case, whenever you want to get to disintegrations or decaying, always try to get to the atoms first. Because at the atomic level, you are decaying or disintegrating. So really, we're trying to go from grams to atoms and years to seconds. So this will be a great recap on, uh, you know, your conversion factors. So 2.109 times 10 to the fourth, we got grams per year. And let's try to do all of this in one shot. Now, if you can't do that, or if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Um, 
just take it in stride, but your answer at the end should be the same as mine. Now, in this case, it doesn't really matter which one you work with first. I guess let's go from years to seconds, right? So we're going to use the conversion factor. Always put your units first. Now, if I don't want years, that has to go on the opposite side. And since now this is in the denominator, I have to put the year in the numerator. And let's see, year, I'm trying to go to seconds, so maybe we'll do day, right? Generally, there's going to be 365 days in every one year. So the years cancel out. We're getting closer to seconds. Day is on the bottom now, so that's now has to go on the top. And maybe we'll do hour, right? Because generally there's going to be 24 hours in one day. So the days cancel. Keep going because we're not at that answer yet. Hours are on the bottom. I don't want that. So hours are going to go up on the top. Maybe, I don't know, minutes, right? 60 minutes for every one hour. So that gets canceled out. And then one more for the time because minutes now go on the top. Seconds are on the bottom. That's what I want. And 60 seconds for every one minute. And the minutes cancel. Okay, so we have that part done. Now we just have to keep in mind that I want to go from grams to atoms. So just keep moving along. Grams are now on the top. So if I don't want that, that has to go in the denominator. And usually if we're going from grams to atoms, we got to stop at our favorite unit, mole, first. And for this case, Remember, this is the periodic table, but now since we're studying thorium-229, I'm going to say that for every one mole, you have 229 grams of that thorium, and the grams will cancel. The last one is, you don't want moles anymore, that goes on the bottom, you want atoms. And this is Avogadro's number, right? Maybe I'll put that in Avogadro's number. One mole equals 6.023 times 10, or, you know, just 6.02, it doesn't really matter, times 10 to the 23rd, and moles cancel. And now you have your atoms, right? And atoms basically are your decay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug all these values in. No ones. Um, but any number that you see that's on the numerator, that's multiply. Any number that you see on the bottom, that is division. So let's go for it. I'm going to take the full number here. I'm going to scan the top. I only have one top number. So times by 6.023 times 10 to the 23rd. Then I have a 360 on the bottom, so 365 divided by. I have a 24 divided by 24, divided by 60, divided by 60 again, and then divide by 229. And I'm just making sure those are all division, 365, 24, 60, 60, 229. Beautiful. Enter. 1.76. Times 10 to the 10th is in atoms. We'll say atoms per second. But remember, the atoms is the same thing as a decay, right? Because for every one atom, you're disintegrating that one atom. So I'm just going to switch this top one and say that this is your decay. And it turns out that a Becquerel BQ is one, every one decay per second is one BQ. So if I have 1.76 times 10 to the 10 decays per second, that's 1.76 times 10 to the 10th BQs. So whatever number you have per decay per second, that's how many BQs you have. And this is the final answer for the first one. Now all we have to do is just convert for 
part two, because now they're asking what's that activity in Curie, which is CI. Now I wrote over here that a Curie is 3.7 times 10 to the 11th disintegrations per second. So let's take our value that we have here, 1.76, and maybe I'll use the full number. Um, and we'll do decay per second. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I want to change this up, right, times by some ratio, now we can classify this whole thing as one unit, right? Now, this is going to be a little bit confusing, but I know you guys got this, right? If I just put this over one, right, this whole thing is going to go on the bottom. Decay per second. And a amount of decay per second equals one CI, one Curie. So maybe I'll put one CI. But then what is the value that goes on the bottom? One Curie equals this value, 3.7 times 10 to the 11th. Times 10 to the 11th. And this whole thing will cancel out with this whole thing. And maybe I'll put this wrap around. And now you're left with just your Curies, CIs. I'm going to take this value and divide it by 3.7 times 10 to the 11th. And there you go. A lot of radiation here, 0 0.04. I mean, not too much though, but point, you know, relative amount, 0 0.0475. That's pretty good. Curies. And if you need to, you can, you know, put this into scientific notation, 4.75 times 10 to the negative 2. But this, this number is pretty good for me. And that is the final answer. So we did A, check, and we did B. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. This one was a lot of converting, but this is bringing it back. Bringing it back to the beginnings of chem. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for coming to the channel to you know, get help in chemistry. We also got physics and math videos on the channel as well. We also opened up memberships. If you guys want to help the channel a little bit more, um, just to put out more videos for you guys, more, um, more subjects, because we have so many more subjects we want to do. It's just so little time, right? So thank you so much for consideration. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye.